What up, squad fam? It's your boy Soul Simmer back with a Q&A from all of the questions I've accumulated over time. So I thought for this week's video I would go ahead and answer them. If you don't like long talking videos, I have this little remodel in the background for you, which is me renovating a house for Zach from my The Sims 3 Horsehold video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. It's not hard to find. I'm actually filming with, uh, not Bandicam, oh my god, I know, right? But a new software called OBS Studio, which someone recommended to me. So let me know if the quality is good and everything down below. The start of the house, because I can't build, I only decorate, was actually made by Sim Sophia, and I will leave a link to her channel below if you guys want to check her out. She makes awesome goddamn builds. So the first question is from Star Falchi Falchi. Fal and they say, I'm guessing Among the Tide is still on hiatus, right? So, Among, Among the Tide, would you like to talk about that? I never talk about that. What does that make sense? So, Among the Tide is a sensitive subject to me because I can never move on from the day I uploaded those damn series plots. Firstly, I want to say that I'm sorry because I never made a video about what happened to it and I think it's like the most raved about video that I've made. I tried to respond to most of your comments, but basically here's the thing. Among the Tide was a book I started to write like two years ago and then a sim series I wrote for the entire summer of 2015. I still have a book like a one note of all of my planning for the show i wrote all of season one script and i have all my characters and episodes and plot notes it was a series about mermaids in the form of sims 3 and if you haven't seen it i would say go check it out but i don't want to disappoint you if there isn't any more so maybe not um anyway after filming the trailer um which was absolute garbage by the way <laughs> <laughs> the poses are so bad. I want to take it down so bad. Anyway, so I filmed the first episode, and it was after a few in-game days. Um, she started to lag a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. But I had a lot of mods installed to make the show, um, because it's probably the most complicated series to ever make. Firstly, because I made most of the animations. I couldn't find them anywhere else, so I made what I wanted. I had Enra's Master Controller to change my Sims outfit skills and pretty much control them when they were underwater. And that wasn't the most complicated thing, since the leveling of underwater and posing and the camera quality was just a disaster. So I would get Ultra Freeze, and comment down below if you relate, it's basically when your game is on fast forward and nature and everything is moving around them, but you have no control. And I can put a link down below if you want to know more, but basically... Um, the save after a few days of filming is non-functional, and I have to start all over again. If you're filming a series on a time crunch, that's the worst thing that can happen, and my game still cannot handle that mod, which is so very necessary for that particular mermaid plot or whatever, so continuing filming that is basically impossible, and that's why I can't continue making it. I'll never delete the script, and I would like to improve it so bad. I try every year and see if it works, but you know. I will update you guys in the future if it changes, but until then, episode 2 will not be made. And the next question is from Jacob Stone, who left a very nice comment. Thank you so much for watching. And they say their game seems to lag, even though they have a Palette GeForce GT6, a 1066 gigabyte with an Intel Core i7-6700K, and it is really bugging me. Is there any way I can fix that? I would like to know. So lag or unsatisfactory game performance can be caused by many things, and honestly I'm not at all the simmer to ask, but basically I find when your game has too much going on at once or your graphics cards can't handle the quality or resolution of your game, it will lag or crash. And I'm not a specialist, but I have had a ton of performance issues in the past. So here are some tips for fixing it with specs like these and pretty much any others that run a huge game like The Sims. And if you guys want me to make a full video about all my tips and tricks, let me know because it's going to get pretty long. So firstly, I do a computer and game clean out every month. So basically I clean out my recycling bin in my computer and make sure there is lots of room on my disk drive disk drive needs to have room. That's like the number one thing to helping your game run smoothly. If I have like one gigabyte of room left on my like C drive and it's like absolutely in the red, my game will just crash constantly. So that's something I know to check for. And um, if your RAM has enough room to do its job, it will pretty much be good to go. So that's like the number one tip to helping your game run smoothly. And also make sure that your drivers and software are up to date. So here's a big tip to help clean out and reset your game without losing progress. So go to Documents, Electronic Arts, and the Sims 3 folder. And I like to do this every time I delete files or to speed things up because once you delete things, they're not gone and the traces of them are still in all of your saves that you use them in basically. So go to that folder every once in a while and just delete uh, DC Backup, Sim Compositor Cache Package, Social Cache Package, CAS Part Cache Package, Compositor Cache Package, and Script Cache Package, and also DCDB0.DBC. You can just search for these, 
and it won't delete anything in your game if you delete the right one so make sure you do and just make sure once you turn on the launcher again that you reinstall everything from it because it uninstalls some stuff while just cleaning it out also for families who you've been playing for a while or just have signs of corruption which an EA advisor actually told me my game was corrupted and that I should just delete um, it's basically signs like your inventory gets deleted or they're just not being able to click on anything in the city um, then you can move them out of their house and move them back in through edit town or another trick is to go to control shift C and type reset sim space asterisk so that all of the sims in your world will be reset and if there are glitch sims in your world it really helps speed things up I've used this so many times and if your game file is too big to begin with it's probably because a lot of recordings and screenshots can fill it up so you want to make it small by deleting or moving old pictures videos and saves you don't use mine is about five gigabytes and I have about six gigs of RAM so I uh, keep in mind how much your computer can handle if you just want to restart all of your settings and progress in The Sims 3 you can delete or move the game file to the desktop the Sims 3 folder and basically when you start the launcher again it will create a new factory reset file that has absolutely nothing in it all the settings will be reset but don't worry if you moved it to the desktop you can move the saves or downloads from the old file into the new one and doing this basically shows you what's making your game lag so it could be a certain download or piece of custom content so you can drag some into time and see if the game lags with them installed and this works especially with mods because some big ones like NRES Master Controller mess me up in the past can make your game crash and this trick has saved me a few times where multiple things have been causing my game to destroy itself well so just think of it as an experiment that lasts all day <laughs> as for CC honestly I know you don't want to hear this but compromise with the custom content guys I see Sims 4 players and there's so much it's just it's they don't even look like Sims 4 Sims anymore if you don't like the way they look don't play it anyway so only keep the ones you need because it plays such a big factor in lag if there are big package files or have viruses in them and if they're not EA made they're not EA compatible guys and the next question is um, I just want to ask any chance you can re-upload your previous Sims Mermaid show that had two episodes I enjoyed those videos and was fine that they were deleted when the show was announced since it was sort of replacing it however since this show Among the Tide is technically on a very long hiatus slash cancellation I don't know the right word to say it I'm kind of an idiot don't worry you're not an idiot I don't know how to say it either uh, maybe I can go back to enjoy the previous series so the only thing wrong with my old videos um, which probably most of you don't know about but I have made quite a few videos and films short films and series over the last four years is that they're really embarrassing <laughs> number one cringy and some of the people involved in them aren't involved with me anymore so that would be really awkward if they saw it but I know you guys may want to see it after making this video <laughs> Um, so basically I did have a series called Merce Secrets it had a few episodes more than Among the Tide so I mean some of you might really like it I liked it it's it's better than Among the Tide, to be honest. Like, the quality was better, just because I had more time to do it. Um, so, I have made Merce Secrets public. I never took it down, I just made it private, but it's back up again, all four episodes, or five or something. And, um, however, the other videos which are blocked from your country or unavailable, please let me know down below. Um, and I'll see if I can fix it, because I'm always hearing about those. But some of the videos, since they're really bad quality and everything, I would have to re-edit and upload them. And that's the thing with all of these, like, films and creations. I don't have the clips anymore, um, because they were from my old computer, and also they're on a hard drive. Now, hard drives, as you all know, probably should be a little bit reliable, but no. So mine is broken, so I have all my Among the Tide on there. I have, you know, Phase, which is a short film that I was going to release this year. I have it all on there, and I had this thing called Riot on there, too. I had so many pictures from Among the Tide on there, and just pretty much, I can't even remember. It's probably so much stuff when I find it, but basically it's broken, and it's not that bad as I'm making it sound. I can, it can be fixed, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Little prayer. So it can be repaired. Um, don't worry, I just have to do that. And that's the thing, like, in the last few years I have made many things and wanted to start projects that you guys have no idea about. But it all comes down to my game crashing and lagging and not being workable, which is why I've been making some edits, which I have an edit channel. I know. Okay, it's linked on my channel somewhere. I dare you to find it. It's um, Hot Dang Edits Fam. <laughs> I know. I don't want to talk about it right now. But basically, yeah. So if you guys want to see some vids, if you're more into edits, and we have that in common, maybe check her out. But anyway, when I get that hard drive back, I know you guys probably like my short films and directing of Sims videos and shows more than my LPs, even. So I will definitely start uploading those 
again. The next question is from Miraculous Bean, and they say, where do you download clothes and hair from? I really need a site with no virus, don't we all? To be honest, I haven't gotten any custom content in like months, actually. I just keep the ones I have because don't mess with success, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I know some of you might be new simmers and see other game content and be like, there's so much, where do I even start? So I would say if I can remember some specific sites, I get my hair and makeup and clothing from The Sims 3 Resource. It's a great site for downloads and it's free. And uh, Nightcrawler has some amazing hairs for The Sims 3 and 4. And some of my other stuff is from The Sims 3 website, um, EA made content. And then the rest is kind of a mix from place to place. In the olden days, I used to get some from Mod The Sims. But at the end of the day, you can literally just search up custom content in Sims 3, go to images, and just click links. Uh, but beware of the risk, guys. Oh, also, I get my horse tack from Lakeside Saddlery, who is a stunning artist of The Sims 3 horses. Maybe in the future I could do like a CC shopping haul if you guys are interested. Anyway, the links for some sites will be down below if I find any beans. So the last question is from Barbaroo of Bagaroo, and they say, where did you get your animations and poses from? Alrighty, so as I said before, I made most of the dive and dolphin kick animations for Among the Tide, but Mentori Cat's YouTube channel was a big help in teaching me how, and Akane Keese's channel has amazing animations. She's such a cool person, and he is too, so please check them out down below. As for poses, which you guys may have seen from my trailer, Self Promo, they are from Mod The Sims, from Michelle and Khalid self and horse pose packs. Anyway guys, let me know if you want to use my animations. I've seen some of you in the comments. Um, they're a little rough, but if you want to make a series like it, feel free to email me at soulsimmerlps at gmail.com or message and comment on this video. For the rest of you, if you want to get in touch with me in the future or know some more, more personal questions, I guess, about me, then feel free to comment down below like these amazing viewers did. Please make a new comment because when it's on others, they get pushed away and I don't get notified. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and dabbing on all the haters. Don't forget to comment down below on what video you want to see next and bye babies!